Hi everyone, it's Jill Foster here for Penny Black. Thanks for joining us this week as we take a peek at the brand new stamps from Penny Black's newest collection called Sweet Spring. All of these new products will be available in our online store beginning Friday, February 16th. And before we begin, I just wanted to mention that this video is designed to help you take a closer peek at our new collection and share some tips and hints as to how some of the cards were created. But don't worry, we will also have instructional videos coming very soon that feature some of these new products and these card designs. So today's peek contains some of my personal favorites from this new collection, and these are our brush stroke stamps. Our first new brushstroke stamp is this beautiful flower called Becoming. Oh, and before we go any further, I also wanted to mention that if you will see a complete list of product numbers used on each card shown on screen in light gray, any of those product numbers can be referenced in the Penny Black online store or the website beginning February 16th when this release is made available. Now here's a look at this next new brushstroke stamp called Lilacs. I love that with any of these brushstroke stamps, I can easily have a bold focal point for my cards. For these first few cards, I follow the same layout and techniques, repeatedly stamping my images using a stamp positioning tool. I use the Misty by My Sweet Petunia, and I stamped onto hot press watercolor paper, and then blended the stamping with water and additional paints, and sometimes added additional shading using colored pencils. Here again, using our brushstroke stamp, Spontaneous Joy, I've used those same techniques and layout. And I've also shown this technique and a similar layout in a previous PB&J technique video, and I'll be sure to link to you to that in the YouTube description box below. This next brushstroke stamp is called Blissful Blossoms. And for my first card, I used blue for the flowers. But I love stamping with the stamp so much that I made a second color variation in pink. And for all of the cards featuring this layout, I used our creative dies for the sentiments. Now for a little different look with our brushstroke stamps, I stamped this next stamp called Blossom Branch onto our Antique Frames creative die. I love these flowers in bright, happy colors like this, but I also think they would look really elegant stamped all in one color, perhaps in a light gray or a neutral tone for a monochromatic card. This next brushstroke stamp called Bell also has an exact match creative die. And this gives you lots and lots of options for popping it up and arranging it in different ways on your cards. And here's another variation featuring the same stamp and also using that matching die. Our flower pageant stamp includes multiple stamps which are separate from one another within the set, allowing you to easily design your own arrangement that suits your card and your sentiment. For my card, I fussy cut my flowers and layered them around the sentiment. Now these next few stamps that we're going to peek at are not big brushstroke flowers, but they feature solid silhouette style designs, which I think work great with similar techniques. So I thought it'd be helpful to include them within this video that features the brushstroke floral stamps. And I love this large cling stamp as it can be used alone for a clean and simple card design or combined with other stamps and dies for a more layered look. And I know I've already shown you this card, but I'm sneaking it in here again to point out how handy this miniature 3 by 4 inch transparent set called Serene is. Here I stamped my background using this set, keeping a tone on tone look. But I also think this stamp would be great as a focal point on a card. Uh, you could emboss it in white and then add a beautiful, bright, uh, rich background inked behind it. And finally, one last uh, silhouette style set I've been reaching for a lot is our Flourish Borders Transparent set. And these are perfect for adding a touch of detail to your backgrounds. And I love the vintage touch that they provide too. And if you look closely on these next three cards, you can see where I've used the Flourish Borders on each of these simple one layer designs. And if you love the flowers that are used on these cards, stay tuned because there's more information to come on those tomorrow. 
So thanks again for taking a peek at just a few of the stamps that are from our new collection, Sweet Spring. Be sure to visit our blog for more details about this release, to enter our giveaway, and stay tuned for more videos where, we're, where we will be sharing a closer look at even more of the stamps which are part of this collection. All of these products will be available in our online store beginning Friday, February 16th. And also, if you enjoyed today's video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. You can connect with Penny Black on our website, blog, Facebook page, on Instagram, Twitter, shop our online store, and see lots of card making tutorials here on our YouTube channel. I've linked to all of these in the YouTube description box below. Happy stamping!